Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. It's with a heavy heart that I come to each one of you tonight to talk about what has transpired since last night's game. I, William Ulysses Muschamp, have been relieved of my duties to lead the South Carolina Gamecocks. I'd like to read something. Let me get my glasses. I'd like to thank everybody who has supported me when I decided to take over this dumpster fire. I appreciate it. I'd like to thank my wife for being willing to support her husband as I come to the front door of hell to do what they call play football down here. I'd also like to thank every GA, every coach who helped me fool a ton of parents into believing that they could actually win at South Carolina. Thank you. I would also like to say this to the coaching, or to the, to the, to the athletic department here at the University of South Carolina. Who are you going to get to replace me? Who? Do you, do you hear that? Listen to that noise. You hear that? Nobody's beating the door down to get in here. Nobody. Oh, that noise over there, that's the air conditioning knocking. That's nobody who's dying to get in here. My buddy Mike, my old teammate, I brought over. He was he was he was at Colorado State. He's taken over now. God help him. Um, I would do the whole Hail Mary thing, but between you and I, uh, I always forget which way to poke, and then people get mad. So forgive me. So, for anybody who wants to take a shot at me, I want to let every one of you know, you ain't getting anybody any better. Fire me mid-season? I mean, is there a Lincoln Riley that's like sitting out there waiting to take over? You have Urban Meyer out there ready to come down here to this crap shoot? We are, I am literally in the anus of South Carolina. This is as good as it gets, y'all. This is as good as it gets. I'm going to keep this clean because I know children are here and old women. But you can't give me chicken crap and expect me to make chicken salad. You can't. Y'all basically gave me the most running over sewer and said, here, make a five-star meal. Have you looked outside of the stadium? The other day, on my way into the stadium, I saw two homeless people attempting to have physical relationship on top of that chicken in front of William Bryce Stadium. Oh, yeah, and PBS is across the road. Okay? Okay, y'all think that y'all gave me some great opportunity? You didn't. And for those of you who thinks that I let you down, I was at Florida and we couldn't win. What did you think I was going to do here once again in the anus of South Carolina? What? And then you fire me mid-season after I lose a game 
to Lane Kiffin? I mean, come on, y'all. Come on. I, so, anyway, thank you to everybody who su supported. I have one last message I don't need to read to convey to South Carolina and the supporters. First of all, I don't have to keep wearing this coat. I'm taking it off. I'm in my gym shorts. <coughs> now pay me. You owe me a lot of money. Pay me. I don't have to do anything else. I can hang out around the house, wear my underwear. Uh, I, I, I mean, I might let myself rot away. Y'all have made me richer than I can imagine. Beyond my wildest dreams. And yes, I coached Florida before I came here. We lost and you still hired me. So thank you so much. Much Champ is still a champ. You know why? You know why I'm still a champ? Go look at my bank account. Thank you so much. Much Champ out. Goodbye, you bunch of crowing losers. Goodbye, you bunch of chickens. Go peck your dookie chicken. Have a good time. I'm going to go home and I'm going to cuss out everybody around me out of joy that I am no longer here. Me and my wife might go to Palm Beach. I don't know. This is great. This is great. Bye-bye to the anus of South Carolina.